on your knees. You are taller than trees. You can look over heartaches and pain. When my faith is gone to my knees, I will go growing stronger and taller than trees. One night it was a long time ago now, I knelt at my mother's knee, and she said, son, lift up your eyes. To him in the skies, and you'll grow like the mighty oaks. But you, son, created in the image of God, can become taller, even taller than the tallest of trees. And this was the answer I felt. As down at her knees I knelt. On your knees you're taller than trees. You can look over all of your heartaches. And son, you can look over all of your pains. When my faith is gone to my knees. I will go growing stronger and taller than trees. Hello and welcome to the Bible with Presco. I will be your narrator, Shenandoah Presco. And we are going to be getting through the Bible in one year. Today is day 61. And we'll be covering Numbers 26 through 27 and Mark 8. 1 through 21. Father, I just ask for purity in voice and articulation, so that this translation may be a blessing for you and all of those who are listening. In Jesus' mighty name, amen. And they all said, amen. Numbers 26 through 27. The Second Census. After the plague, the Lord said to Moses and Eleazar, son of Aaron, the priest, take a census of the whole Israelite community by families, all of those twenty years old or more, who are able to serve in the army of Israel. So on the plains of Moab, by the Jordan, across from Jericho, Moses and Eleazar, the priest, spoke with them and said, take a census of the men twenty years old old or more, as the Lord commanded Moses. There were the Israelites who came out. These were the Israelites who came out of Egypt, the de Egypt, the descendants of Reuben, the firstborn son of Israel, were through Hanak, the Hanukite clan, through Paul, the Pulite clan, through Hezron, the Hezronite clan, and through Carmi, the Carmite clan. These were the clans of Reuben. Those numbered were 43,730. The sons of Pelu was Elib, and the sons of Elib were Nemuel, Dathan, and Abram, the son, the name Dathan and Abram were the community officials, and the, who rebelled against Moses and Aaron, and were among Korah, Korah's followers, when they rebelled against the Lord. The earth opened its mouth and swallowed them along with Korah, and whose followers died when the fire devoured the 250 men and they served and they served as a warning sign and the line of korah however did not die out the descendants of simon are their clans by their clans were 
through Namuel, the Namuelite clan, through Jamin, the Jaminite clan, through Jachin, the Jachinite clan, through Zerah, the Zerahite clan, and through Shahol, the Shalite clan. These were the clans of Simon, those numbered who were 2,000, no, 22,200. The descendants of Gad by their clans were through Zephon, the Zephonite clan, through Haggai, the Haggai clan, through Shunai, the Shunite clan, through Onai, Oznai, the Oznite clan, through Eri, the Erite clan, through Arid, the Arid clan, and through Aril, Arili, Arili, the Arliite clan. Those were the clans of Gad. Those numbered were 40,500. Ur and Owen were sons of Judah, but they died in Canaan. The descendants of Judah by their clans were through Sheleth. Shel uh, was the Shelite clan. Through Perez, the Perezite clan. Through Zerha, the Zerite clan. And the descendants of Perez were through Herez, Hez, Hezron, the Hezronite clan. And through Hamil, the Hamlite clan. These were the clans through Judah. Those numbered were 76,500. The descendants of Ezrekiah, Ezrekira, by their clans were through Tola, the Tolaite clan, through Pua, the Puite clan, through Jashub, the Jashub clan, through Shimron, the Shimron clan, Shimronite clan, and these were the clans of Ezrekiah. The number were 64,300. The descendants of Zebulun by their clans were through Sarad, the Saradite clan, and through Alon, the Elanite clan, and through Jehali, the Jehaliite clan. These were the clans of Zebulun. Those numbered were 60,500. The descendants of Joseph by their clans through Menesh and Ef. Ephraim were the descendants of Menish through Machira, the Machirite clan. Machirite was the father of Galahad, Galid, Galid, and through Galid, the Galid, Galadite clan. These were the descendants of Galadid. Through Ezer, the Ezerite clan, through Halik, the Halik clan. Helikite clan, through Ezrael, the Ezraelite clan, through Shem, the Shemanite clan, through Shemida, the Shemida clan, through Hefer, the Heferite clan, Zelophoid, Zelophahad, son of Hefer, had no sons. He had only daughters, whose names were Mahala, Noha, Hagala, Hogala, Milkaha, and Tazara, Tiriza, Tiriza, Tirizar. Yeah. These were the clans of Manish. Through those numbered were fifty-two thousand seven hundred. These were the descendants of Ephraim by their clans. Through Shothalith, the Shothalite clan. Through Becker, the Beckerite clan. Through Tehen, the Tehenite clan. And these were descendants of Shelethith through Aaron and Aaronite, the Aaronite clan. These were the clans of Eph Ephraim. Those numbered were 32,500. These were the descendants of Joseph by their clans. The descendants of Benjamin by their clans were 
through Bela, the Belanite clan, through Ashabel, the Ashbelite clan, through Aherman, the Amorite clan, through Shepharon, the Shepharon clan, Shephamite clan, through Hepharim, the Hepharmite clan, and the descendants of Bela through Arid, the Nami, and Namain were through Arid, the Aridite clan, and through Naman, the Namanite clan. These were the clans of Benjamin. Those numbered were 45,600. These were the descendants of Dan through their clans. Through Shuham, Shuham, the Shemanite clan. And there, these were the clans of Dan. All of them were Shemanite clan. And those numbered were 64,400. The descendants of Asher by their clans were through Imana, the Imanite clan, through Ishave, the Ishavite clan, through Beriaha, the Berite clan, through and through the descendants of Beriaha, through Heber, the Heberite clan, through Malekel, the Malachite clan. And Asher had a daughter named Sarah. And there were, these were the clans of Asher. Those numbered were 53,400. The descendants of Naphtali by their clans were, through Jehazelazil, the Jehazelite clan, through Guni, the Gunanite clan, through Jazer, the Jezerite clan, through Shelium, the Shelmanite clan. These were the clans of Nephetali, through those numbered were 54,400. The total number of the men of Israel were 601,730. 601, the Lord said to Moses, The land is to be allotted to them as inheritance based on the number of names to a large group give a large inheritance to a smaller group a smaller one each in is to receive its inheritance according to the number of those listed be sure that the land is distributed by lot what each group inherits will be according to their names for the ancestral tribes each inheritance is to be distributed by a lot among the large and the smaller groups. Those were the Levites. Those were the Levites who were counted by their clans. These were the Levites who were counted by their clans. Through Gershon, the Gershonite clan, through Kahath, the Kahathite clan, through Maria. Meriuri, the Meriite clan, and those are also, these were also Levite clans, the Lebanite clan, the Heberite clan, the Mahalite clan, the Meshanite, Meshahite clan, and the Korite clan. Koath was the forefather of Amram. Amram. And the name of Amran's wife was Jechahabred, a descendant of Levi, who was born to the Levites in Egypt. To Amram, she bore Aaron, Moses, and their sister Miriam. Aaron was the father of Nabade, Nadab. Was father of Nadab and Abiha, Abihu, Elazar, and Ithamar. But Nadab and Abihu died when they made an offering before the Lord with unauthorized fire. 
All the male Levites, a month old or more, numbered 23,000, and they were not counted along with the other Israelites, because they received no inheritance among them. These are the ones counted by Moses and Eleazar. The priests, when they counted the Israelites, on the plains of Moab by the Jordan across from Jericho. Not one of them was among those counted by Moses and Aaron the priest when they counted the Israelites in the desert of Sinai. For the Lord had told the, those Israelites they would surely die in the wilderness, and not one of them was left except Caleb, son of Jephunneh, and Joshua, son of Nun. Zelophehad, Zelophehad's daughters, 27, Numbers 27. The daughters of Zelophehad, son of Hefer, the son of Galad, Gilead, the son of Mechari, the son of Manasseh, belonged to the clans of Menesh, son of Joseph. The name of the daughters were Mahela, Noah, Hogola, Mikola, and Tiriza. They came forward and stood before Moses, Elazar, the priest, the leaders, and the whole assembly at the entrance to the tent of meeting, and said, our father died in the wilderness. He was not among Korah's followers who band together against the Lord, but he died for his own sin and left no sons. Why should our father's name disappear from his clan? Because he had no sons. Give us property among our father's relatives. So Moses brought their case before the Lord. And the Lord said to him, What Zeph Zelophed's daughters are saying is right. You must certainly give them property as an inheritance among their father's relatives and give their father's inheritance to them. Say to the Israelites, If a man dies and leaves no sons, give his inheritance to his daughters. If he, he has no daughters, give his inheritance to his brothers. If he has no brothers, give his inheritance to his father's brothers. If his father has no brothers, give his inheritance to the nearest relative in his clan, that he may possess it. This is to have the force of law for the Israelites, as the Lord commanded Moses. Joshua to secede Moses. Then the Lord said to Moses, Go up this mountain in the Abraham range and see the land I have given to the Israelites. After you have seen it, you too will be gathered to your people, as your brother Aaron was. For when the community rebelled at the waters in the desert of Zion, or Zen, both of you disobeyed my command to honor me as holy before their eyes. This, these were the waters of Meribah, Kadesh, in the desert of Zen. Moses said to the Lord, May the Lord, the God who gave breath to all living things, appoint someone over this community to go out and come in before them, who will lead them out and bring them in, so the Lord's people will not be like sheep without a shepherd. So the Lord said to Moses, Take Joshua, son of Nun, a man in whom is the spirit of leadership, and lay your hand on him. Have him stand before Eleazar the priest, and the entire assembly, and commission him in their presence. Give him some of your authority, so the whole Israelite community will obey him. He is to stand before Eleazar the priest, 
who will obtain decisions for him by acquiring of the Urim before the Lord at his command and he and the entire community of the Israelites will go out and at his command they will come in. Moses did as the Lord commanded him. He took Joshua and him and had him stand before Eleazar, the priest, and the whole assembly. Then he laid his hands on him and commissioned him as the Lord instructed through Moses. And that concludes Numbers 26 and 27. Now we do Mark 8, 1 through 21. Jesus fed the 4,000. During those days, another large crowd gathered. Since they had nothing to eat, Jesus called his disciples to him and said, I have compassion for these people. They have already been with me three days and have nothing to eat. If I send them home hungry, they will collapse on the way, because some of them have come a long distance. His disciples answered, But we're in the where in this remote place can anyone get enough bread to feed them? How many loaves do you have? Jesus asked. Seven, they replied. He told the crowd to sit down on the ground. When he had taken the seven loaves and given thanks, he broke them and gave them to his disciples to distribute to the people, and they did so. They had a few small fish as well. He gave thanks for them also and told, his, that it, that it told the disciples to distribute them. The people ate and were satisfied. And afterwards, the disciples picked up seven baskets full of broken pieces of, that were left over, and about four thousand were present. After he had sent them away, he got into the boat with his disciples and went to the region of Dalmanith, Dalmanitha. The Pharisees came and began to question Jesus, to test him. They asked him for a sign from heaven. He sighed deeply and said, Why do these gener this generation ask for a sign? Truly I tell you, no sign will be given to it. Then he left them. He got back into the boat and crossed the, to the other side. The yeast of the Pharisees and Herod. The disciples had forgotten to bring bread except for one loaf they had with them in the boat. Be careful, Jesus warned them. Watch out for the yeast of the Pharisees and that of Herod. They discussed this with one another and said, it is because we have no bread. Aware of their dis discussion, Jesus asked them, "Why are you talking? What are you talking about? Have you no you having no bread? Do you still not see or understand? Are your hearts hardened? Do you have eyes but fail to see, and ears but fail to hear?" And do you and don't you remember when I broke the five loaves for the five thousand, and how many baskets full of pieces did you pick up? Twelve, they replied. And when I broke the seven loaves for the four thousand, how many baskets of pieces did you pick up? They answered seven. He said to them, Do you still not understand? And that would make it the end of the Bible with Briscoe for today. And tomorrow we will be covering Numbers 28 through 30 and Mark 8, 22 through 38. Father, I just pray that this was the blessing, a blessing to you. And I also pray that it was a blessing to anyone else who was listening and also that you all come back tomorrow and that we will continue with the Bible with Briscoe. And in the meantime, be blessed.
In Jesus' mighty name, amen. And they all said, Amen.